Kenneth Branagh creates Robert De Niro. Frankenstein. When Aidan Quinn decides to go sailing to the North Pole, they end up getting stuck in the ice, where they find Kenneth Branagh. Listen to me. I have spent six years planning this. My entire fortune. I will not be stopped by you or some phantom. Do you share my madness? No, not madness. Who proceeds to tell them his life story, where he vows on his family graves to cheat death. You should never have died. No one need ever die. I will stop this. I will stop this. I promise. Which John Cleese warns him is a bad idea, only to end up being murdered. My work now and its application lies exclusively in the preservation of life. I abandoned my other researches many years ago. Why? Because they resulted in abomination. By someone else whose body is harvested to create new life, which causes him to ignore his own life. All these letters, you wrote them to us yourself every week. I wrote them. I wrote the letters. He hasn't written to me in months. Elizabeth. Something horrific is happening to him. I can feel it. At first I wasn't sure, but I knew I had to hide it from father. Only to be dissatisfied with his work. And tries to kill him instead. Resulting reanimant is malfunctional and pitiful and dead. As do the other townsfolk, who he voyeuristically watches and befriends the one that can't see him. I'm glad you finally came in. A man shouldn't have to hide in the shadows. People are afraid. Except you. It can't be as bad as that. Worse. Only for his family to chase him away. Prompting him to start killing Brannock's family. You murdered my brother, didn't you? I took him by the throat, one hand lifted him off the ground, slowly crushed his neck, and demanding he create a mate for him, which he decides should be his fiance, who'd rather die than be with either of them. You can't do this, I won't let you! She's gone, I love her. What would you do? Leave her in peace. Peace, you call this peace. You think my father wouldn't have done this for my mother? Your father's dead. Then there's nothing left to lose. Nothing but your soul. Worth watching forecast. As you probably know, tomorrow, my dear son Victor leaves me to pursue what I'm sure will be an illustrious career in a profession that I myself am not altogether unassociated with. Oh, oh, <laughs> Don't take it too hard. It's just that Cramp doesn't approve of public humiliation. I am not mad! My dear fellow, of course you're not. In fact, that's just the sort of thing I'd expect a perfectly rational person to say to a complete stranger. Henry Clerval, by the way, and I'm completely crazy. You doctors kill people. I don't care what you say. You're not sticking that in me. Yes, I am. It's the law. You're not, not sticking, sticking that in me. Someone. Come on. You're not sticking that in me. You're not sticking that in me. 